Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Bearded Dev, bringing you videos on business intelligence, data analysis, and SQL programming. In this video, we're going to be having a look at a login issue in terms of SQL Server. And if you do enjoy this video, do hit that thumbs up button. So the issue we're going to be looking at in particular is not a descriptive problem by any means. So no process is on the other end of the pipe. And this is an issue we receive when trying to connect to SQL Server. So we're going to go over to Management Studio now, try and connect, generate this error, and then go through the resolution. Now, we've opened up SQL Server Management Studio. We've been granted permission to access the server and the particular database we're going to be working with. We're very excited to get started. So we're going to first of all connect to the server. Now for this I'm using SQL Server Authentication as opposed to Windows Authentication. So I've been set up as a SQL Server user. So I've got my login. I'm now going to go ahead and enter my password. Click on connect and then we receive this message to say we can't connect to the server a connection was established with the server, but then an error occurred during the login process. And the detail we're given is no process is on the other end of the pipe. Now I have seen in some of the forums online that if you look at this particular error, there is a recommendation to reinstall SQL Server. Now that is not the case. We do not need to go to that extent to resolve this issue. So whenever you have an error connecting to SQL Server or any errors at all within SQL Server, always have a look at what uh, is causing the error before even considering a reinstall because that process is very time consuming and we simply don't need to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. So at this point we can't connect and we'd normally go to a database administrator or a sysadmin. Now in this case, I'm quite lucky because that is me. So I also have a user setup under Windows Authentication and that will allow me to connect to this server. So once I've connected, I'm going to go ahead and right click and select properties, which brings up the properties for the server and we have different pages on here. Now the page in particular is going to be the security tab and we have this particular area at the top, server authentication. Now we can see that at the moment this is set up for Windows authentication mode. When we install SQL Server we get the option to choose between these two and I believe Windows authentication mode is set up by default. So even when we are trying to connect to Management Studio, we are given both options, even though in this case, I haven't set up the server for SQL Server authentication. So what I need to do is simply change that to SQL Server and Windows authentication mode and click on OK. And SQL Server being as good as it is, is going to advise me of the next step. So because I've changed some properties on the server, I now need to restart it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK there. And I'm simply going to open up my services. So once I'm on my services page, I'm going to scroll down till I can find SQL Server, which is just here. So we can see the status is running at the moment. Uh, we do have a description here of what the service is actually running. So what we need to do is go ahead and click on restart. So we can either click up here or we can simply right click and then we get the option here as well. So I'm just going to restart this service, which can take uh, a couple of minutes. Um, that's done it quite quickly. So I now need to come out of services and I'm going to try and connect as this user again. So I'm going to click on connect to the database engine, change it to SQL Server authentication. It's got my login pre-filled and I'm just going to enter my password, click on connect and all being well, it will grant us access to the server. 
yes. So we've now got access to the server. We can see the databases that we need to be working with. So as you can see there, there was no need to go through the lengthy and time consuming process of reinstalling SQL Server. Um, so we have got permissions to change those properties. So if you yourself are sysadmin or a DBA and you're setting up users as SQL Server authentication and you see that error, I strongly recommend you go and check the security properties um, under the authentication method set for your server and you probably will find that, that it will resolve the problem. Really hope you have enjoyed that video. Check out my other videos on the channel. As mentioned, there's lots of great content on there on business intelligence, SQL programming, and data analysis. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification button to be made aware of when new videos are uploaded. If you're having any issues in SQL Server or would like me to do any video on certain topics, then please feel free to let me know in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching.